Para ver tu pere. Para ver tu pere pa. Para ver tu I recently listened to the Michael Brecker riff that inspired the singing You Just Suffered whilst I was out cycling. I had not heard the tune for a long time, quite a few years in fact. Here's the original from Out of the Loop by the Brecker Brothers. Wow, I thought whilst pedaling along. That is a cool melody. What is it about this line, apart from, of course, the gorgeous sound of Brecker's tenor that attracts my ear so much? I want to investigate and play this, I say to myself, as it sounds like fun. I'm still on my bike, so I decide to work it out there and then. The first thing I do, therefore, is to listen and focus carefully on the notes of the melody. I am no genius, so I decide to listen to just the first half of the melody as I perceive an area of tension, a term my brilliant and superb drummer friend Asif Circus coined to describe something we find uncomfortable to play. Now I attempt to sing these first few notes. Perhaps you would like to try as well. Ba, 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 ba. I do not have perfect pitch, so I am not sure yet what the key is, but I can recognize the riff is in minor and can feel the second note is the root note of the tune. Ba, ba. Can you hear or feel that? As I say, I am not a genius, but I can feel that musical gravity, and most people can, from the flattened seventh to the root. Here are a couple of tunes that feature this flattened seventh to the root movement. The movement of a tone from the flat 7 to the tonic produces a very different sound feeling from the semitone below the root, which is this. If I support that semitone movement with harmony, then the feeling and emotion will become more apparent, as well as the pull of the notes, like a magnet. Now we proceed to the next part of the melody, that great leap upwards. Listen. Okay, let's try singing that now, shall we? Da, 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 da. The feeling of that high note reminds me of a tune, Watermelon Man by Herbie Hancock. <laughs> It might remind you of another tune, this minor seventh interval. So now we have this. Ba, ba, ba. Remember, we're still practicing without the instrument on the bicycle. I don't know what key we are in, but I do know the notes I am singing are flat seven, the root to the flat seven. Academically, therefore, I can work out that in C minor, the notes would be B flat, C, B flat, and in A minor, G, A, G. I think this is a good place to take a break so that we can digest what we have covered so far. Thanks for watching. Please access the Jazz Duets June blog stream for the rest of the video and the supporting PDF with a lick in all 12 keys and corollary exercises that I made up that feature these intriguing notes. Cheers. See you next time.